Okay, so we've gone through and we used some functions to make it a robot move in a rectangle. So pretty much we've just got motors going straight and then turn. Um, but now let's go and add an input. Now the first thing we need to do is to add an input is put together the physical hardware. So I'm going to go to component. I'm going to grab it just a mini breadboard that I can put the components on. Make that little circuit. The breadboard is mini. Now the breadboard has got some connected rows. We'll get into that a bit later. But just wire it up the way that I do for now. You have a good idea of how to the board. Our input device that we're going to use is a button. We bring the button in. And we want to put the button across the middle of the board. The other thing that we're going to need to do is add a resistor. Now, the resistor is a pull-up resistor. Um, that's going to be 10K. So let's change this value to 10K. Uh, pull-up resistor just means that a little bit of the current is going to be going to ground. It gives it a better signal going into the resistor. So I put it attached to that pin. This side of the resistor. I can draw and make a wire to ground and make my ground wire black because it always makes the ground wire black. That's just the typical code that you use. One line to five volts and we're going to make that red because that's our five volt line and you always use red for a five volt line or any beam in. And then we're going to come from this side to the far side of the button. Don't go from this side, go from this side. Put a wire over four. So now I've got my button wire. So I've got positive signal coming up here. When I push the button, electricity is going to flow to four with a little bit flowing out the ground. Don't really need to know about electronic theory right now, but we'll just play with it like that. So now that we've got our input wired up, we can go and add it into the code. At the start of our code, let's do that. Let's back that in a second. Um, we need to make an integer for our button. So let's say integer button 10 equals 4 semicolon to be plugged into 4. Make a comment. Here is a button in 4. Then we're going to make another integer for the button state. This is kind of a weird one, but what it's going to do is Tell the program that the button is off when the program starts. And then later on, we're going to assign a new value to this one. So, button state equals zero for off. And again, we'll play at that later. Now, because we're using a button, we need to set up a new pin mode. So, this pin mode is going to be an input. So, pin mode. In bracket, because we've got a signal coming in from the button on the board that we're going to need to work with. Now, down in our program, we need to write a little bit of code to look at that button. And we're going to start off by assigning the value of the button to our button state variable. So, I'm going to go button. State equals, I'm going to do a digital read as opposed to a digital write. Digital read button pin. Make a single point at the end. So now button state is going to be button pin. So now we've got a value assigned to button state that will either be high or low. The next step is to make an if statement. Because right now, this isn't doing anything. So let's say if button state equal equals high, I'll go, have a few capitals, high, then forward right. So it's going to draw a right. Indents there. The comment is the button is 
Hi. Robot. Uh, robot moves in the square. Okay, so we've got that. Now, if the button's not high, so any other value, it can only be low, but for now, we're just going to go else. Fill the bracket. And we'll just do a stop. For a time of 1,000. It'll stay stopped as long as the button state is low, but it'll take one second before it starts moving if it's high. Set a colon. Like so. And then we've got our bracket here closing up a little bit. So if I go upload and run, it would run an issue. Okay, so. And function expected primary token. So where did I make that mistake? We've got after, oh, this right there. Just the line on my comma. Upload and run. There we go. I'll bring this down. Motors aren't moving. Push the button. Motors are moving. So right now the button state is high. Turn it off, it's going to finish that if command that it started with, and stop. Hit the button again, and it runs through the command again. There we go, simple, using an input and a button for an adult state.